Well guys, Apex Legends is dying. For real this time. Ever since the end of season 14 into season 15, it just seems like, you know, everybody, casual players, streamers, content creators, pros, it just seems like everybody is not as excited to play Apex. And I'm going to really dissect why in this video and give you guys my opinion as to why Apex right now is in such a bad state. Like Apex has never been in such a bad state. And I've been playing Apex since season 0. And if you guys don't believe me, I mean, just take a look at the numbers that Apex currently has on Steam, on Switch, on basically every single platform right now, Apex's numbers are down. And it also makes it worse because it doesn't seem like the devs want to address any issues. But let's talk, let's talk. I want to actually talk about, you know, the full story of why Apex got to this point and if Apex could still be saved. Now, before we talk about Apex, we actually need to look at one very specific game that was also developed by Respawn, Timefall. Now the reason I want to talk about Titanfall before I talk about Apex is because we cannot talk about the death of Apex or Apex Legends dying without taking a look at the history of Respawn. And the history of Respawn making their own games, it really started off with Titanfall. Titanfall was one of the most critically acclaimed FPS games of the 2010s. I loved it, everyone seems to like it, the movement, the gunplay, everything was so polished in Titanfall, right? Does that sound familiar to you guys? Kinda sounds like Apex. Now the reason Titanfall failed and never managed to recover was because the game lacked content. The game had everything else, it had great movement, great weapons, great abilities, the gunplay was good, the core game was really really good right? But it just didn't have content to keep players interested for a long period of time. Because of that, Titanfall inevitably failed and it just could not compete with games like Call of Duty and Battlefield at the time. Fast forward almost 10 years into the future and we're seeing a very similar trend with Apex Legends. It comes full circle guys, it really does come full circle. The main problem that Apex is currently facing has nothing to do with the gameplay, nothing to do with how the game feels, it's really the lack of content and the lack of... I don't know, importance to the devs that respawn and the publishers over at EA. They just don't seem to care about this game. If the player base just doesn't feel like the devs truly care about the game, they're obviously going to try to play different games and see what other options are out there. It only makes sense. And this is exactly what happened when Apex Season 15 dropped. Now, of course, when Season 15 dropped, we had a brand new map, we had a brand new legend, which, you know, everyone was kind of looking at this season to be the season that revived Apex and brought so much life and content back to Apex. I was even thinking that this season was going to be one of the best seasons in, in months, in years, you know? But it turns out that when Season 15 dropped, a brand new legend and a brand new map just wasn't enough to keep players engaged because Respawn also had basically no patch notes in this brand new season, all of the big issues we really saw in season 14 just carried over into season 15 with a brand new map and a new legend. So even though we had new content, it really wasn't the content that everybody was begging respawn for. No legend changes, Sarah wasn't nerfed, no ranked changes, of course people are gonna be upset. Now it just so happened that when season 15 dropped, we had so many other games dropping at the exact same time, Overwatch 2 for example, Modern Warfare 2, and even though those games don't really have the same playstyle as Apex, because Apex was lacking in so many areas, because Apex was so boring. A huge majority of the player base went and tried different games and explored new content because Apex wasn't giving them that new content that they wanted. So now we find ourselves in a situation where half of the player base just doesn't even care about Apex anymore, they stopped playing the game and the other half is still trying to convince themselves that Apex is actually making strides and it's doing good. It really isn't. It's not. To make things even worse, because it does get worse, it gets worse. The recent Apex Legends Christmas event was announced, you know, this should be fun. Everybody loves Christmas events, right? Wrong. Because this event is basically the exact same event we've been playing for the past 3 years. Nothing has changed. And to make things even worse, this event is filled with skins and reskins and recolors and a brand new prestige rate skin. Everything just seems like, you know, the devs are focusing on making money and they're not really focusing on improving the quality of the game, giving us actual content because my definition of content, guys, isn't skins. My definition of content is new ways to play a game, new game modes, new weapons, new events that actually have new content in it. Legend changes that the community has been begging respawn for for months now. When Apex announced a Christmas event, I feel like that was the last straw for so many players because it quickly became the most disliked Apex Legends trailer in history. If that doesn't tell you guys what you need to know then, I don't know what will. 
The biggest issue with Apex right now is that nothing is ever changing. Every single season is the exact same cycle. We have a brand new legend, we have a collection event at the middle of the season, and towards the end of the season we might have a new event sometimes, sometimes not. And even though that model worked for Apex two years ago, you can't keep using the exact same model for three years bro, for four years, like you need to switch it up. You have to do something new, you have to give players a reason to come back because everyone is not going to be playing this game when it's the exact same cycle every single season. People get bored very quickly and even though Apex has great gunplay, great mechanics, that's not enough to keep players engaged forever. I've said this before but it seems like Respawn isn't hearing it. Respawn doesn't want to hear it. I also don't want to put so much pressure on Respawn by themselves because I feel like the publisher of Apex, EA, has a very big part to play in this as well. EA as a publisher is known for completely destroying games because they focus way too much on monetization and making money and earning revenue. EA is infamous for that kind of stuff. So who knows, maybe if Apex had a different publisher, the game would be so much more successful we will never really know. But one thing we know for sure right now is that Apex is on a downward spiral. Apex is confused. This doesn't necessarily have to be the end of Apex Legends because all the devs need to do really and truly is bring content that everyone is asking for. Do the things that we want to see. Implement new content. Change up the seasonal cycle. Because even though Apex is doing really badly right now for its standards, compared to so many other games guys, Apex would still be a thriving game, a very successful game. So it still isn't completely dead because players still do enjoy Apex. But if we continue along this path, this game is going to die. 